So what is the reason for the Siting Manager in InfoSwim Sustain? Well, the Siting Manager takes uh, GIS data, for example, elevation, land use, uh, imperviousness, streams, roads, groundwater, soil, land, land ownership with different types. So for example, if we wanted to see the, the land use code, we click over here, we see the various land uses if possible. It also has, um, for example, soil codes. So we have our ABCD, SCS type soils. So we, so we can set up rules. We can say we're, our soils only use, or our, our LID only uses certain types of soils, only uses groundwater, needs to be on a roof, etc. So for example, we can come over here and we can see what the, what the green roof looks like. So let me just close this, go to information, click over here, and it finds a, a polygon, subcatchment. We want to look at more at the subcatchments. We want to look all the way down to the LID attributes. So now we'll click over here. And it's a polygon again, but it has the LID, the SWIM 5 or InfoSwim Low Impact Development LIDs. And these are the same LIDs that are in ICM, InfoWorks ICM 6.5 and above. So you can use the Siting Manager to cite where the LIDs are. And then once you have those cited, you can come over here to the Optimization Manager, set up various criteria like how much um, runoff to control, how much pollutants to control, bring in different types of um, LIDs for different subcatchments, what kind of, how, how many kind of replicates you have, what the unit area is, the top width, um, how much per, uh, percent of pervious is, is coming there, and apply things like the max width, the soil, the soil width, etc., along with the uh, cost. So the cost of the LID. So it minimizes the cost based on your criteria and tries to meet that either 75, 50%, or whatever you define that. So that's a little bit about the siting manager inside of um, InfoSwim Sustain. Thank you for listening.